why don't they just fucking learn how to bench? Say, well, you, maybe you just don't know how to fucking bench. People need to quit fucking asking what they need to do exercise-wise until they reinforce their technique. Bench press. Our competition bench press is band pegs on the bottom. We also have, I call it a head cage, but it's like a roll cage. So if somebody misses the weight, and especially with bench shirts and power lifters today, if they miss a weight, you're talking somebody, we have bench presses in the 1,000 pound range, 900 pound range. Most of the guys you saw out today bench 800 pounds. You know, so if something gives or something happens, even with side spotters, it's happening so fast there's a risk. So when we have a cage here, that bar, if it does fall back, that's gonna stop before it smashes their face. And that's basically the purpose of the, the roll cage. Um, the J hooks are set up in a way that a lot of bench presses you'll see will have a J hook that will extend, say this high, or it's a big rubber knob. <clears throat> the J hooks, you have to really go with the minimum that you can possibly get away with because you never want to take a bar out like this when you bench press and I'll, show you. and I'll have Chris demonstrate here later but you never want to take a bar out like this okay because what happens is if you do get your body set in a bench position here where my back's tight and everything's tight as soon as I do this my shoulders just came out Everything just flared up. So, you gotta have a JPEG or a cup that allows you to pull the bar out. That way your lats stay tight. Even with the lift off, you have to pull it out. There's a huge difference between that and this. Everybody wants to try to fix all their problems with exercises and movements. A weak point's always going to be physical, mental, or technical. I don't give a shit. What you say, there's no other reason. It's going to be one of those three or a combination of them. Everybody will ask questions like, well, I can't lock the bar out. What exercises do I need to do? All right, well, then everybody's going to say, oh, you know, pin presses, floor presses, board presses. You know, I'm going to say, well, you, maybe you just don't know how to fucking bench. Why are you worried about board presses and pin presses if you don't even know how to bench right? Because all you're going to do, technique is everything. The key with any power lifter is for it to become the mastery phase. That takes years, years of experience. But then there's always a variable that gets thrown in there that throws everything off, and that's called weight. You know, because as you work up, weak points are going to come out. That's where the coaching and the verbal cueing becomes even more important because then it becomes a time where it does not become technical, that a muscular weakness is actually causing the breakdown in the technique. But for 90% of the people out there, it's the technique which is the problem. So anybody who's struggling with a squat, bench, or deadlift, the first thing they need to do is to look at their technique and really look at where it's at and how, how solid it is and how strong it is and compare it to some of the best lifters that are out there or have a good coach look at it and see because that's what's killing you. With good technique, the, I've had lifters come in here just for a weekend like one of these sessions and put 50 pounds on their squat. How long does it take to add 50 pounds to your squat muscularly through training? Man, that can be two years. You know, we did it in a day. The first rule of technique when it comes to the bench press is gonna be tightness. It's the same thing with the squat. Everything, when you bench press, it's a total body exercise. Everything has to be tight and contracted and stable. Nothing should move. When you see, you know, this stuff here, bars going like this, it's, ah, what the hell are you doing? You know, a teaching aid that I use a lot of times in seminars is I'll ask people, to put their feet on the bench and push their hips as high in the air as they possibly can. I got this from J.M. Blakely, you know, in this position here. When you do this, you feel tremendous amount of pressure on your traps and your upper back. Then I'll ask them, put your feet back on the floor, either with your feet out wide or under the bench, and find that same pressure. 
All right, you don't necessarily have to pull your shoulder blades insanely together. Your back has to be tight and that has to be tight because you wanna, when you bench press, you don't wanna think about pushing the bar away from you. You wanna think of pushing yourself into the bench. Okay, it's completely two different concepts. When you do that, you're gonna be tighter, technique's gonna be more solid, and you're gonna have a better press. I'm gonna go with an arch position first, you know, a tucked position, more of a competitive type of bench, and then I'll show a, a foot out position. The, um, for an arch position, I like to see pretty much the head all the way off the bench when the feet are set. So see my feet are set right now? <clears throat> where the toes are being dug in. And then from here, I'm gonna grab the bar and just start working myself up. Fuck, I hate this. <clears throat> Until I'm on the bench here. Then, when in this position, I'm gonna try to drive my heels into the floor, which you can't do. But the focus has to be there because that puts the weight on your traps. Pull the bar out. Start from an extended position, break at the elbows, tuck, 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 and then I'm going to push and flare back. You're going to push and flare the elbows as the bar comes back. So here, 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 slow, here. So you're keeping the elbow under the bar the entire time. The key with the bench press, you always want your wrist and elbow in line. If you're pressing in your wrist is like this, all right, all your power is not under the bar. There, your power is under the bar, okay? If you come down and then the bar is behind your elbow here, that's almost a tricep extension. If the bar is in front here, that's almost, that's like a front raise, you know, it's a shoulder press. So you want it in line the whole time here, and there. That's pushing back toward the rack. If I'm gonna bench the way most people do, that you're gonna see in a gym, the traps are not gonna be tight at all. You know, everything's, they just basically sit down, you know, they dance their feet around. The bar is gonna be here. You know, sometimes they do this shit, you know, like the, the, pre, the pre press. And they're going to bring it down, see how low my elbows are on the bench compared to the bench. The lower those elbows are in relationship to the bench, the greater the shoulder strain. So they're going to go from here to here. Now if you could kind of remember the distance that traveled and compare that. I'll keep my feet out. Now look at where my elbows are here, there. Not only did I take half the distance off of the bench, but my elbows didn't go as low. I get more questions on that. Pisses me off worse when they say, oh yeah, man, my technique rocks. It's solid or whatever it is. Then when, then when you see it and you're like, dude, you suck. They say that the one thing that drives me crazy than more than anything else, me bad or my bad or whatever the fuck that stupid saying is you know yeah okay my bad it was it my bad who the fuck came up with that but surprisingly the anaconda is gone so i there's still no actual proof that it really exists all right i would show it to you but it was in here so who knows maybe it doesn't exist